Hello and welcome to the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, where we look at engines. Real quick. Today we're tackling the silver medal of the Twitter poll, Neos. So, it's time to take this game to space! Elemental hero Neos is the ace monster of the GX protagonist Jaden Yuki. His amazing pack. I mean, flavor text states that when he fuses, powers are unleashed. It couldn't be more true. Neos, alongside some of his fusions, was first released in Power of the Duelist, all the way back in 2006. However, the engine wasn't a thing until much later, and that being Savage Strike in 2019, where Neos' fusion was introduced and the engine started its existence. Not to mention that this engine is available in Duel Links. And just like South Mo Engine, it's hidden behind the paywall in the form of the Structure Deck X Neos Fusion. The engine is very flexible in what it does, which mostly stems from which Neos Fusion monster are used. It can be a board cleaner with Rainbow Neos, Pinpoint Destruction Removal in Glow Neos, Hand Destruction in Aqua Neos, Bouncing with Grand Neos, Draw Power in Nebula Neos, Graveyard Setup in Searches with Brave Neos. Everything depends on what the engine is supposed to do. Still, everything is working due to one card, which I'm going to talk about now. Neo's Fusion was introduced in Savage Strike and changed the way Neo's decks were played. It also gave birth to the Neo's engine. I assume anyone watching can see why it's so strong. For only those listening, allow me to give you a brief summary of the card effect. A fusion monster which lists Neos as material can be summoned with this card, obviously. The materials can be sent to the graveyard from the hand or deck. No monster can be special summoned after this effect resolves. Additionally, should a fusion monster with Neos as material be destroyed or shuffled back into the extra deck by its own effect, Neos fusion can be banished from the graveyard instead. This card followed the example of other archetypal fusion spells, like Red Eyes Fusion, Ancient Gear Fusion, and Lunar Light Fusion. Having access to fusion materials from the deck is extremely strong. It basically changes the deck into an extension of the hand, at least for that fusion summon. I've rambled long enough about the card, let's get to the build of the engine. Unlike the Assault Mode engine which we talked about last time, this one had seen competitive play in the TCG. The variant which has seen most success is the Rainbow Neos one. The build of that engine is rather simple. One Neos Fusion, one Rainbow Neos, and one of each materials, those being either Rainbow Dark Dragon or Rainbow Dragon, and Elemental Hero Neos. I would say that the engine's focus on the other fusions should look similar. That doesn't hold true though for Brave Neos. In his case, the rather generic materials make it so that the engine can double as a foolish burial, setting out graveyard plays for next turn. When it comes to pros of this engine, the biggest one is how easy it is to bring out the fusion monster. Also that the fusion monsters have various effects, from spot removal to board clearing. Also the fact that it uses materials from the deck and not from the hand is very, very nice. Also you cannot forget about the built-in protection from destruction. The biggest issue this engine has is the fact it prevents any further special summons for the remainder of the turn of course. It makes it so the engine is unable to provide any extension for the strategy. The variety of abilities this engine can provide is unparalleled, and they're just testing it out. Heavily combo-centric decks are not ones the engine should go to, mostly due to the non-extender nature of the engine, as well as the prevention of special summons. And this ends the SpaceX mission to find some suitable engines. I think it was a success.